him a long walk from the dressing rooms here at the Keelor Basketball Stadium. It's a smooth tones of Denis Ramagam, trained by your former trainer, Hammer, Bryce Burtwistle. Julian Balzano also in the corner of the team from the Malvern Martial Arts Centre behind Denish Aramaga. Timor Rasi making his way to centering another young child trained by Prince Amir out of Sydney. Prince Amir really building up a decent stable of fighters up there in Sydney since moving into state last year. And this young one, Timor Rasi, weighed in at 74.6. Slightly heavier than Denish Aramagam, and they are set for three by two minute rounds. Let's go across to the man who everybody loves, Raymond. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are scheduled for three two-minute rounds, another interstate contest. Introducing first and fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Bryce Birdwhistle. He weighed in at 72.25 kilograms from Melbourne, Victoria, Denish Aramaga. From Sydney, New South Wales, trained at Riley's Gym under the watch fly of Prince Samir, Weighing in at 74.6 kilograms, Timor Rossi. <laughs> Jamel Lassar, once again the man in charge of the action when the bell rings. Your judges at ringside, the living legend, Davey Hedgecock, Mark Corrie and Matt Tyne. Well, last minute inspection here by Jamal Hassan. Bryce Burtwistle in the corner there with Danish Aramagam. And opposite corner, Timur Rasi with Prince Amir and Upton in the corner as well, Hammer, who we saw competing in bodybuilding recently on the big IFBB Pro Show down here at the Melbourne Convention Centre. And he took home two trophies on the night, Upton. So congratulations to him and he's helping Prince Amir out in the red corner tonight. Exactly. So Prince Amir's boys from Riley's Gym, New South Wales. And uh, as you stated earlier, Michael, very fast-growing gym in Sydney town. Of course, recently featured in International Kickboxer magazine. We're set for three by two. Jamal Hassan, third man in centre ring. And Bryce Burt was still looking after the corner of the boy in the blue in the brute force trunks hammer. Your old your old trainer Brycey. Bryce Burt Whistle will have the boys from Malvern, Malvern fine tune tonight. Of course, his main uh, fighter tonight will be Mike Cope, semi main event. Person standing up, I want you to neutral corner. Until you get neutral corner, I want to start counting, okay? So it's not good for you. If anyone down, I want you to stop. I call bright, I want clean bright. No matter what happens, when you hit bright, I want clear bright, okay? If you attack when I call bright, I will take a point of you. You might winning with one by one point. And that will be not a problem, okay? So touch your glass, go in your corner. Well, the full book of instructions again from Jamal Hassan, and we are ready to get on the way, Hammer. Breaking the points down now. Ready? <laughs> I'd say what he's granted his job, Jamal Hassan, and uh, well, what a treat we're in for later on, folks. Stay with us, Tony Antonio taking on Murat Mehmet, Richard Walsh against Jason Vermoa. Mike Cope against Cenk Bank and the big one, Arthur Sakanas versus Gurkhan Ozkan. And here we go in round number one. Outside thigh kick there. Good start from Denise Aramaga. Denise in the yellow shorts. Taking a bit of a slip to the canvas there. And Rashish from Sydney, red shorts. Big leg kick there from Timur Rasi. Oh, Aramagam just walks into a straight right hand. Big right hand again from Rasi. We have seen this young man in action before, Timur Rasi. He's a very solid, compact fighter, that's for sure. Aramagam's going to have a tough test in century. Outside thigh kick by Russ. Inside thigh kick by Russ. Russ, he looks to be moving uh, a little better this time than last time out, Michael. Last time out, he was very rigid, almost uh, bulked up a little bit too much, in my opinion. This time, he's moving a lot more fluid, a lot more uh, free. Seems to be building confidence, showing no respect to Denise Ramagan here in the first round. But Denise certainly has yeah, a nice reach advantage. He just swept out the left leg of Denise Ramagan from right under him. Aramagam comes forward again. Dinesh just in the brute force yellow trunks. Timur Rasi in the red trunks. Rasi just picking his moment. Goes for the outside left thigh again. Aramagam's going to start checking those kicks. 
there it is again to the outside left thigh from Rasi. Finding Rassi. the target all throughout this first round, Hammer. Big leg kicker, Rasi. is really winding up that rear leg. There he goes again, bringing the hands over the top. He's kicking yeah. a little low, though. He's kicking onto the knee joint almost. He needs to get that leg kick up just a tad. Not a good follow-up on that occasion from Timur Rasi. Now he's back into the red corner as a result of it. Can Aramagam launch on him here? Nice straight right hand, good combination upstairs from Aramagam. Again, missing and spinning around dangerously, Timur Rasi. Ducks under the right round kick, and there's the end of a very good first round hammer. Well, that was a bit more like it. But, uh, Timur Rasi landing some good solid leg kicks. Denis Shamagam had the, uh, the hand advantage, probably landed some more punches. Hey, only smaller! What I want from you, I want just to do what you start from the start, all right? Keep kicking his legs when he's punching you. You understand where I'm coming from? And then, when you throw the, when you throw the left hand, left hand right, don't throw it too hard. Don't throw it too hard. Throw it Once again, we just have a look at some action from that round. There's a big leg kick from uh, Rasi just taking uh, Amagar down. And again, he really was uh, powering through with uh, those leg kicks. But uh, Denish Amagar just landing some nice tidy hand combinations there in the red corner. Had, had the shots firing out straight up the shoulder. Nicely timed and executed hand skills from uh, Denish. But uh, Rasi landing some big scoring leg kicks. Not a lot in that first round at all. In close, Denish uh, Amagar is working quite well, but the big power of Rasi down to the ground. We are ready to rock and roll in the second round of action. Denisha Ramagam in the yellow trunks versus Timur Rasti from Sydney in the red trunks. Michael Chavello ringside with the hammer. Mark Castaneda an opening flurry up. Oh, just on spin. Straight right hand to the jaw there from Denisha Ramagam and the knees dropped out from under Timur Rasti. Rasti has been stunned here in the second round. He's doing a quick count of his teeth after that one. Just got caught on the turn, and that is oh so dangerous. Any novice fighters have to be really wary. If you're going to let your technique go, never ever turn your back on your opponent because they'll clock you as sure as the next day is going to be light on your turn. Talked about it in the first round. It was always danger for Timur Rasi not following up after his leg kicks and doing a 360 spin without covering himself properly. And as the hammer pointed out, whenever you've got your back turned to an opponent, even for a split second, it's danger time. Rasi now visibly slowed down. Aramagam's got to try and finish him. Tags him with an overhand right. Aramagam's got the momentum flowing now. Tell you what, Mogul, that was one of the uh, classic all-time battles. Dale Westerman versus Ian Jacobs. Ooh, yeah. Westerman throwing the big hand, turned, and got caught with a shin kick from Jacobs. One of the worst knockouts of all time. Dale Westerman being the uh, Aussie battler. He's came back from that one. A lot of people thought Dale Westerman wasn't going to get up from that one. Hammer. It was what, sickening. And that was just a danger of turning your back uh, on an opponent who can have and will have good timing. Tracker of a fight at the Radisson Hotel, of course, back in 1994. On the same card that Louis Isaac oh. beat, he's the after in a late blow there from Denisha Ramagam as Timur Rasi was spilled through the ropes. A little bit harsh there from Denise Ramagam to hit Rasi when he was well and truly caught in the ropes. Oh. Timur Rasi might have been infuriated by it. And again, a strike to the back of the neck there from Denisha Ramagam. He's got to be careful. He End does. of the second round, Hammer. Let's have a little bit better control, Denisha Ramagam. Hitting an opponent that's through the ropes is really not on. But uh, he had a better round, Denish. In that, uh, in that round, getting the count, of course, on Rashi will give that second round to the boy from the blue corner. Once again, there you see it. As uh, Rashi just turned off that low kick, he got caught with the right hand from Armagam. And uh, that was what basically cost him the round. But he's fought, fought back uh, very violently. And there's the punch. He saw his opponent was through the ropes. Shouldn't have hit him. No need for that. And uh, in tight. Once again on the ropes. And letting a little one go as uh, Rashi was down. instructions there in the blue corner from Bryce Burt Whistle. He's young charge to Nisha Ramagam. And we are underway in the third and final round of this middleweight contest. Denisha Ramagam scoring the knockdown in the second round, tagging a right hand on the jaw of Timur Rasi. 
Can Rasi score one back here? It'll be a 10-8 round. That means for Denise in the second round, after the first one was probably even. Nice left hand it was there by Rasi. Inside fire kick from Rasi. Didn't follow up with his hands, though. It gives Aramagam the chance to move forward. Glancing right hand from Aramagam. The right hand of Rasi falls short. Left hook didn't connect. Good evasion work there from Timur Rasi. Aramagam inside fire kick. Outside fire kick. Trading leg kicks downstairs now. Timur Rasi sucking in the air. He's tied here in the third stanza. And uh, Denise um, Armagam is just looking the better now as this play progresses. He's still looking uh, fairly composed, holding his guard up nice and high, bouncing on the balls of his feet. They've got to do some work, Hammer, on the follow-up after those kicks missed by Timur Rasi. Falling over on that occasion, getting tagged in the previous round. He, he seems to load up 100%, uh, Rasi. He just needs to maybe concentrate a little more on a combo rather than just loading up on the big shot. Comments from the Hammer, Mark Castanini, the former Australian champion ringside. With myself, Michael Chavello. we're coming at you from the Keelor Basketball Stadium in Melbourne. And stay with us, folks. Gurkhan Oskhan versus Arthur Sakanas coming up later on. And Jenk Baig takes on Mike Cope. Rasi tying up Denisha Ramagam, third and final round. And if Rasi doesn't get a knockdown here in the third stands, it's going to go Aramagam's way with that second round knockdown, making it a 10-8 round from the boy from Bryce Burgess. Stable. Outside fire kick by Rasi. Got tagged with the right hand on the jaw. Well, Rasi really has spent all his salvos here. And there it is, the end of the third and final round. Hammer, how do you see it? Well, that round uh, certainly a game going away of uh, Denise Aramagam. And, of course, getting the count in the second this is uh, really beyond any doubt going the way of the blue corner after uh, some well put together combinations uh, probably in the last round there from Denish and getting the count of course in the second that's probably the one that's going to give him this fight. Ladies and gentlemen once again we go to the judges scorecard this is how they saw it judge Dave Hedgecock scored about 30-28 judge Mark Corrie scored about 29-28 and Judge Matt Tyne, 29-28 for your winner by unanimous points decision, Denish Aramagam. Well, there you have it, folks. It was the second round knockdown that did it. Denish Aramagam, trained by Bryce Burtwistle, victorious at the Keelor Basketball Stadium.